Okay, welcome Midlife Shredders. Thanks for checking out another video. If you're new to MTB Over 40, this probably wasn't the best video to, <laughs> to first chime in, but, but welcome if it is, because uh, you get to join in the fun and figure out where things are going and where things are at. Uh, this is all a journey about me getting on a bike, staying on a bike. This time I didn't stay on the bike. <laughs> Anyway, this, this whole video is supposed to be a review. I recently got a set of Delium tires, and if you don't know about Delium tires, they're an independent brand. They have gotten some really good reviews lately, especially from the guys over at Lone Wolf. They did some, some reviews on, on these tires, it gave them good reviews, and I, I thought I'd give them a try. You know, with, with prices skyrocketing lately, with everything going up in price, including components and, like you guessed, tires, especially from the name, the larger name brands, everything's gone, just gone up in price. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to try another set of tires. They're, they're about half the price. Hey, let's give them a shot. So me and my friend Jason decided to go to Knoxville. We went to Baker Creek Preserve, which is a, a bike park. I wouldn't say a bike park, just bike trails, really good bike, bike trails. Been there before, did a video there before. I thought this would be another a good place to really try them out, try these new tires out. And, since my improved, perceived improved jumping skills lately, I thought this would also be a good opportunity for me to try uh, Devil's Racetrack. Devil's Racetrack is the big jump line there at Baker Creek. And it was it's always intimidated me. <clears throat> I was always, uh, the jumps are big. And after doing some other jumps and getting a feel for jumping, I, you know, J I would say Jason talked me into it, but we, we decided this would be a good place to, for me to, to grow my skills. And so, yeah, so that's what we did. We warmed up first on Cruise Valley, which is their green trail, jump line. It's a jump line trail, it's green. Did that once, and then we went to Barn Burner. And Barn Burner, it's, it's kind of weird. The jumps aren't as big as Devil's Racetrack, but they're lippier. <sighs> and there's kind of a rhythm to it. So I had a little problem, you know, getting all those jumps. I was hitting them on and off. Uh, but overall, I felt like, okay, I've, I've got a feel for it. I, I know, you know, what this is like. So let's go ahead and head over to Devil's Racetrack. The first thing we did when we got over there, we climbed up to the top. We decided to do the wall ride a couple times. That was fun because wall rides are something I'm not really used to. We have one wall ride, I think. Yeah, one wall ride here locally in Nashville. This was a chance to really, you know, get used to a good wall ride. And so we did that a few times, that was kind of fun. And then we decided to hit the rest of the jump line. Now, things were going okay. The jumps were big and I knew that. And I knew I was having some problems, you know, clearing everything. There was a couple things I could clear, mostly in the beginning. As we started getting speed and, and getting down to the bottom, that was starting to really uh, give me some, uh, yeah, some reserve. <laughs> I was a little bit intimidated. You know, that's part of progressing. You want to try to keep doing things over and over. Uh, and the one thing I wanted to do was I felt like the last step up at the end of Devil's Racetrack was something that was doable. It was steep. It was pretty big. To be honest, it's not as big as Tortuga at Canuga, which I was able to clear. Heck yeah! But the run up is is a little tricky. It's, it's got these kind of like a little S berm. And then as soon as you come out of that, that berm, that last berm, you've got, a, you've got a, like a second to set up and ready to hit that jump. It looks like you have more time, but you really don't. So my first time, uh, I, you know, I didn't really jump it. I just rolled it, just kind of get a feel. I, second time I decided, you know, commit to it and I nosed into it. Uh. <laughs> and then the third time I decided to give it a little bit more speed and I got my front wheel over the knuckle. Got my front wheel over it. Yeah. So Jason was just like, man, just don't feather. And I knew I was feathering the brake. I knew I was doing that. I knew I was feathering the brake coming out of that berm. Well, I decided to full commit, <laughs> full commit. And I don't know what happened. I felt everything was fine. I, I hit the jump, but as soon as my rear tire 
came off that, that lip, I was already going forward. And yeah, this happened. <laughs> There's a couple of things that I, I'm assuming happened. One, I could have panic braked right before I hit the jump. I don't think I did. I don't remember doing it. Uh, it's not evident on the video. The other thing is maybe I didn't stand up or was as vertical as I thought I was. Uh, again, looking at the video, the handlebars come right up at, at, to me, so it feel, I felt like I was up vertical enough to let the bar bars come forward and then it was gonna roll over. Or something that I'm not seeing on the video just kicked my rear tire uh, forward. I, I really just don't know. It was, you know, hit hard. I for sure thought I was joining the clavicle club, <laughs> uh, clavicle brake club or whatever, whatever you wanna call it. I, I for sure thought I broke my clavicle. I hit the hard, hit the ground that hard. Um, turns out I have a sprained wrist and I have some, some torn uh, ligaments or not, not torn ligaments, but stretched ligaments um, that attach the clavicle uh, to the shoulder. Um, I, I, to be honest, I don't remember all the medical terms they told me, but basically this was stretched. Um, so all right here is very tender. Um, I can, I do have mobility, which is good. I can lift it up somewhat um, and, and move it around. My wrist is a different matter. This, this really hurts. Uh, I can barely close my, I, in fact, I can't even close my, uh, all my fingers, you know, to get a grip yet. Uh, they're saying six weeks. I hope that's not the case because I've got some stuff coming up that I, I really need to be back on the bike for. I'm doing uh, muscle laser therapy uh, through my chiropractor, so hopefully that's gonna be helpful. I've already done two treatments and I can already tell an improvement. Videos might be slow for the next couple of weeks. I will try to update through Instagram and things like that or through some of the shorts I might do here on YouTube, so check that out. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, trust me, it's much more interesting than this. <laughs> uh, please give a like and subscribe. Would really love to have you along for the journey because that's what all this is. Hopefully I'll do a, a, a proper review of the Delium tires <laughs> coming soon. Once I get better and once I can get back on the trail, I will do a review. So no, I'm not just throwing all that away. That will come soon. Thanks guys for watching. As always, live, learn, and send it. <laughs> if for some reason sending it, it's just, it's just making me laugh. I don't know why, but live, learn, and send it. It's never too late to start. We'll see you guys.